God bless you all. Examine this, brethren. Unicorns, biblical fact, must see. A channel YouTube name called William Tyndale. Subscribe, brethren. I'm going to make it on full screen here. Okay. And this is the creature which he moved. I don't recall ever seeing another creature like this. It's a real video, obviously. And this is the creature which he believes to be the unicorn that's being mentioned in the Bible when God is questioning Job and says, Will the unicorn be willing to serve you? Will he stay in your stall? Can you hitch a unicorn to a plow? Or will he plow the valleys behind you? A unicorn you? is walking with meaning and Since purpose. Since he's so strong, can you trust him? Look at him? this. A unicorn of Saurus, good him? God Almighty, what a grind of Saurus. Can you trust him to bring home oh, man, your grain that was truly biblical. and gather it to your threshing floor? Oh man, that was truly a biblical unicorn of Saurus. The question is though, why and is another it video, Latin another one, Rhinoceros, another one, but then a massive gigantic biblical unicorn well, standing and running upon God's footstool. According to the context of the scripture, it's talking about a one-horned animal. It says phrases like, my horn, and the horn. That's why it uses the word unicornus, because it's talking about a one-horned animal. However, so examine the rest for yourselves, brethren, and share the video. The gospel is 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It is, brethren, as pertaining to the gospel, which I preached unto you, which you have also accepted, and in the which you continue, by the which also you are saved. I do you to wit, after a manner I preached unto you, if you keep it, except you have believed in vain. For first of all, I delivered unto you that which I received, how that Christ died for our sins, agreeing to the scriptures and that he was buried, and he arose again the third day, according to the scriptures. Romans chapter 10 talks of the word of faith which we preach, is that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth that Jesus is the Lord, and shalt believe with thine heart that God hath raised him up from death, thou shalt be saved. For the belief of the heart justifieth, and the knowledge with the mouth maketh a man safe. For the scripture saith, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. You know, John 3.16, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So video number two I'd like to share is this one, share this on a sh other shorts video. The, the Kindling YouTube channel, Enduring the Battle, at the 20 minute, 25 second time frame, in high definition. There's an angel of God Almighty here. El Shaddai. It's all through the Bible of persecutions and troubles. David had troubles over and over again. Some he created there was right there. And troubles. An and angel David of God Almighty. Over and over again. Some he Flying in the midair. It did like a swirl or twirl of some sort. Like it moved like it did like a, a cool little, like it went upside down and everything. Watch. In super extra slow motion. Right now. Here it is. David had troubles over and over again. Some he created. Wow. Jesus is about to come. Some he didn't. Share the gospel, brethren. First Corinthians 15, 1 Corinthians 15, 1-4. But a good man finds the Hear what this brother has to say, too. And, and there's another video I'd like to share here. This is a hymns and songs. You're welcome to share this on the YouTube channel called The Sheep of the Good Shepherd, 26. You are the one That was a, an amazing harmony of the note reached. It sounded like there could have been an angel in the background. That Part of that was my little bass voice. Uh, let's hear it again. We could even do it in slow motion or a little fast motion, but regular speed is good. Hear it again. Hearts always hunger for our hearts always hunger for 
for some other videos I can share with you, brethren. This is my YouTube channel page. There's this rock there. Examine this video first, and then hear that one. Hear what Jesus Christ revealed to the Apostle St. Paul in the Epistle of Romans. There's five chapters so far. Lord willing, there'll be six, seven, and eight, and all the way up to chapter 16. Brother Ernie had a lot of important words to say. Let's hear what Brother Ernie has to say. Hey, sir. And, uh, anyway, we'll uh, just continue on. Yeah, well, get, get your butt up, man. Come inside. We'll just uh, start again in there. You know, good thing. I'll, I actually, my own strange way, there's a value that's intrinsic in it that I'm enjoying because it's something I've never known before. Maybe I have... Get a little more high quality. I have spent my life detached and that was part of my problem. How the detachment is going extinct and the intrinsic value is coming forward in full throes. I think, without sounding stupid or arrogant about it, I think that from the point of view of the average conversation, I'm beginning to feel just a little touch of what it might have been like to be able to feel the heart of the one that they call the Christ. When I was in jail this last time around, I had a lot of time for thinking, study, introspect, retrospect, pre-prospect. And I realized that I was developing something that's being given to me. I'm not developing anything, but it was being given to me. Come around on uh, Crucifixion Sunday while I was in jail, and the TV being full of the reenactments of the crucifixion programs, what have you, on TV, and we watched it endlessly. You were at TV in jail, man? Yeah, they got the one-eyed hypnotist in there, you know. Well, to it. there ought to be a law, I guess, having TVs in jail. Uh, <laughs> there ought to be. <laughs> yep, and there ought to be some actual libraries in jail. But uh, then people get educated, and Lord knows they can't have that. So anyways, we were watching it. There was one that was really a good reenactment. And uh, uh, I was watching as the portrayal of the Christ upon the cross was made once again and as I watched the words cross vision came to my mind and I don't mean cross-eyed but I mean beginning to learn to see the people as the story is written about the man as he did when even nailed to the old Greek staros no one at the end is hoping into view the people down at his feet Caterwauling and crying out his name and begging the centurions for mercy and what have you. When they uh, made various comments to him, he expressed empathy. He didn't beg for mercy. He didn't say this is unjust or unfair. He didn't complain. He didn't whine. He said to the people, take care of each other. Be good to each other. Do right by each other. And who can say that one is a mother and one is a brother? Are not all of these here, my mother and my brethren? In other words, he was speaking to their hearts, cross vision. When we learn to get rid of our own hang-ups, hang up our hang-ups, suspend them, crucify your own hang-ups, and open your heart up to learn to love and to give of yourself, with everything that you have to give to go that extra mile to be the brother and the band of brothers who goes back no matter the price to the last man on the battlefield if you're the guy that it happens to when you're out in the labor force and that feeling comes over you so strong you can't even you can't even move you're bound by it because somebody somewhere that you're connected to is going through some kind of something and you can feel that they're in a situation. Let those tears run. Let people make fun of you. It doesn't matter. Learn to get connected 
learn to become a part of the solution because too much detachment aids the problem. We have been so detached from each other for so many years. Now with this push button society, you get your detachment delivered right to your front door and don't even need to know your neighbor's name. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it's just, I I've, I've, don't have much use for detachment, I guess, and it may, <laughs> maybe it'll consume me in time. No, no, no. I did Balance. making a fool of me, that's for sure, because I know that I'm actually not being turned into a fool over it. I'm finally finding my place. Let's yeah. hear this song, brethren. That was a good video. Love that video. God bless that brother in Christ mightily. Tony Early. Good evening, the guys. Tony, Tony. Here once again. It's Saturday night, April the 24th. Um, a couple weeks ago, um, a dear brother named Kevin um, had uh, requested a song. It's called Well Done by the Afters. I want to sing that for you guys tonight and uh, hope you enjoy it. pain is gone and all the worries of this world just fade away and what will it be like when you call my name and that moment when I see you face to face I'm waiting my whole life to hear you say well done well done a good and faithful one Welcome to the place where you belong Well done, well done My beloved child You have run the race and now you're home Welcome to the place where you belong What will it be like When tears are washed away And every broken thing is finally made whole And what will it be like When I come into your glory Standing in the presence Of a love so beautiful Waiting my whole life to hear that day I will live my life to hear you say Well, well done Well done, well done, my beloved child. You have run the race and now you're home. Welcome to the place where you belong. What will it be like when I hear that sound? I hear that sound. And all of heaven's angels cry now. Singing holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Singing holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. Singing holy, holy, holy are you. If you haven't accepted the Lord Jesus Christ, do it today, guys. We're running out of time. I love you all so very much. I'll see you in the next video. Good night. 
All right, now I'm going to read Psalms chapter 50 from the 1537 Matthew's Holy Bible. You're welcome to follow along in whatever translation you're using. The title of this chapter here says, He prophesied that God will call all nations of the earth unto him by the gospel, and that he will require the confession and praising of his name, and not sacrifice, and how greatly he will abhor them, which boast themselves to be religious and holy, and are indeed nothing less. A Psalm of Asaph. The Lord, even the mighty God, hath spoken, and called the world from the rising up of the sun unto the going down of the same. Out of Sion appeareth the glorious beauty of God. Our God shall come, and not keep silence. There goeth before him a consuming fire, and a mighty tempest round about him. He shall call the heavens from above, and the earth, that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that set more by the covenant than by any offering. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself, Selah. Hear, O my people, let me speak, let me testify among you, O Israel. I am God, even thy God. I reprove thee not because of thy sacrifice. Thy burnt offerings are all way before me. I will take no bullocks out of thy house, nor goats out of thy folds. For all the beasts of the field are mine, and thousands of cattle upon the hills. I know all the fowls upon the mountains, and the wild beasts of the field are in, are in my sight. If I be hungry, I will not tell thee, for the whole world is mine, and all that therein is. Thinkest thou that I will eat the flesh of oxen, or drink the blood of goats? Offer unto God praise and thanksgiving, and pay thy vows unto the Most Highest. And call upon me in the time of trouble, so will I hear thee that thou shalt thank me. But unto the ungodly saith God, Why doest thou preach my laws, and takest my counsel in thy mouth? Whereas thou hatest to be reformed, and castest my words behind thee, if thou seest a thief, thou runnest with him, and art partaker with the adulterers. Thou lettest thy mouth speak wickedness, and thy tongue painteth deceit. Thou sittest and speakest against thy brother, yea, and sclanderest thine own mother's son. This thou doest, while I hold my tongue, and thinkest me to be even such one as thyself. But I will reprove thee, and set myself against thee. O oh, consider this, ye that forget God, lest I pluck you away, and there be none to deliver you. Whoso offereth me thanks and praise, he honoreth me. And this is the way, whereby I will show him the saving health of God. Psalms chapter 50 from the 1537 Matthew's Holy Bible. Brother Aaron has some real good songs too. To hear a song of Brother Aaron. Scars in Heaven, requested by Brenda T. Uh, cover Casting Crowns. Hallelujah. If I had only known the last time would be the last time, I would have put off all the things I had to do. I would have stayed a little longer, held on a little tighter than what I'd give for one more day with you. Cause there's a wound here in my heart where something's missing. And they tell me that it's gonna heal with time. But I know you're in a place where all your wounds have been erased And knowing yours are healed is healing mine The only scars in heaven They won't belong to me and you There'll be no such thing as broken And all the old will be made new and the thought that makes me smile now Even as the tears fall down Is that the only scars in heaven Are on the hands that hold you now I know the road you walked was anything but easy you picked up your share of scars along the way 
Oh, but now you're standing in the sun. You fought your fight and your race is run. The pain is all a million miles away. The only scars in heaven. They won't belong to me and you. There'll be no such thing as broken. All the old will be made new And the thought that makes me smile now Even as the tears fall down Is that the only scars in heaven Are on the hands that hold you now this video we're like this song you sung right here you have the voice for this song brother it's loading brethren give it some time where is it at Jesus is certainly about to come I found an interesting I don't know if you want to call it a tool it's a piece of wood oh yeah in just a second so give me a little bit of time brethren I'm looking for it just take it easy there just relax just drink some water, have some H2O. I'm going to find it. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened. Ask and it shall be given and the love come a trickling down. Here it is, almost there. Um, there it is. Too, too, too many signs to ignore. Any second, Jesus is coming. Are you feeling ill at ease? Well, my friend, you should be. Time is short, put your faith, faith in, in the Lord. Lord. The book of Revelation, Revelation. flying off the pages. Too, too, too many signs to ignore. Any second, Christ will save us. To heaven, He Shall will take us. us. Look at all happy Christians waiting on the Lord. The book of Revelations flying off the pages. Too, too, too many signs to ignore. And time dreams and prophecies are starting to unfold. It just goes to show we'll be flying real soon. The truth is in the Bible. Stop living in denial. Too, too, too many signs to ignore Too, too, too many signs to ignore And time dreams and prophecies are starting to unfold It just goes to show we'll be flying real soon Freedom's found in Jesus So won't you come receive him Too, too, too many signs to ignore 
Throw your worries all the way. Trust in Jesus today. Look at all the happy Christians waiting on the Lord. Arriving any moment, our eyes and ears wide open. Too, too, too many signs to ignore. Too, too, too many signs to ignore. Tight with Christ, guys. Go to just go. See in the clouds. Nice song, Aaron.